deadly shooting in California continues this morning. Many here in central Indiana are left with that unsettling question. Could this happen here? Well, this morning, Trooper John Perrine is live with us in studio, a specialist on active shooter situations. Thanks for being here with us this morning. Thanks for having me. First question, are you guys closely watching what is happening in California? Of course. You know, we, we will monitor the situation, and, and our thoughts and prayers definitely go with the families and the victims out there, and as well as... Uh, the, the first responders. Uh, it's not an easy thing for them to do or, or to respond to. And so we're, we're going to watch closely, but uh, right now we're, we're just kind of uh, hoping for the best out there. Of course, you specialize in active shooter training sessions. So uh, the sessions that you've been part of and given, what can people learn from those types of scenarios? Well, what people need to, to learn and, and know is they have options. What we've tried to do is we try to bridge that gap between when the event starts and when the police start to arrive. And what are the options that people have in, in those minutes to increase their chance of survival? And critical minutes there. Absolutely critical minutes. And, you know, so the three options that you have in any violent encounter, but specifically uh, an active shooter situation, are to run or escape, to hide or fight. Um, and so what, what we do is, is we tell people, if you're going to run or escape, you have to have good information about that. You have to know what the violence is and where the violence is. You also have to know an escape path and an alternative escape path. And so um, if you don't have information or if you don't know where you're going to escape to, the, the next best option might be to hide in place. Uh, if you're going to hide, we're going to ask, you, you should barricade the door, lock and barricade the door with everything that moves in the room should be stacked against the door, shut off the lights, silence your cell phones, and then while you're in that hide situation, you should be preparing for the last option. Now understand that these options are, are these events are ever evolving, they evolve very quickly, and so just because you're in one option, you should be preparing for the other two. If you're in this hide, you should definitely be preparing for the last option, which is fight. Um, we want to, hopefully it doesn't get to that. Mm -hmm. But if somebody were to defeat your barricade or get into your space, you should prepare yourself. Look around you and improvise weapons. See what you have around you that you can use as an impact weapon uh, to help protect yourself in a defense a defensive fight. Trooper Perron, you said that in those early moments you should get good information. From what sources are you thinking? Well, the, the, that's going to be very difficult. Different places have different types of alarm systems. They have different type of message systems. Uh, you know, the, your source might be, be eyewitness. You might see this violence happening. Uh, you might hear sounds of violence. You might smell uh, smoke or hear gunfire. Um, and you've got to know and recognize what that is. And don't talk yourself out of believing that, that it could be really happening. Okay. Um, because it could be surreal to you uh, in that event, but don't talk yourself out of it. We have just a little bit of time here. Uh, next week, a chance for the public to get involved in these types of scenarios. Uh, tell me about the, the program you have uh, being yeah. offered. Yeah, the Indiana, the Indiana State Police has developed a program called Unarmed Response to Active Shooters. Again, the things I just talked about. We have a 90-minute presentation next Tuesday, December 8th, up at the Sheridan Community Center. And we're going to be offering for the first time our presentation to the public. This presentation was developed for schools and churches and businesses, and we've been doing that for several years. Uh, but this is the first time we're holding a public forum on this information. So we'd like for people to come out and, and listen to what we have to say to help themselves get prepared. Couldn't be more timely. Okay, and um, you can find that information. We'll post it on the IndyChannel.com as well as the State Police website. I want to thank Trooper Perrine for coming in this morning to give us All perspective. Right. Thank, thank you. Thanks a lot. Beth, over to you.